What's up everyone? It's your girl Stephanie and today we are doing the long-awaited house tour. I've lived here in the Arts District in Los Angeles in this loft for I want to say like four and a half years. So <laughs> it's been a while and it took me this long to film this video because there are just there's just always so many things that I wanted to, you know, change or fix and I just never felt like it was time to show you, but it is definitely time now. So let's just, I'm just gonna give you a wide shot of the main area. I'm gonna show you the large like living space first and then I will show you like the hallway front entry bathroom after that. I'm gonna try and let you know where all my furniture is from. Um, obviously, I've been collecting this stuff for many years since before I lived here. Um, but if I can find links and stuff, I will I will try down below. But you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of West Elm. I'll just tell you that now. So this dining room table, surprise surprise, is from West Elm, along with these chairs down here. This bench is actually very new for me. This is from Article, and it's the first thing I've ever bought from Article, and it's beautifully made. I was very pleasantly surprised. This table is actually expandable, so you can see in there and I have three of these chairs without the arms and then two with the arms the rug is also from West Elm also you know what if I can't find the exact pieces I'll potentially try and find like similar pieces from the sites um, behind there oh gosh I should close that better that is uh, my laundry area I'm not gonna open that. You don't You don't have to see that. It's a little, a little crazy up in there. But here's my kitchen, just straight across, and then my island from Ikea. This island is great, by the way. If you need a kitchen island, like super sturdy, love the butcher block on there. It's been a, one of my favorite pieces, and it's from Ikea. We have shelving underneath here. That's where I keep all my cups and then just like random items down there. And as you can see from the kitchen, there's very minimal storage. Like, oh, hello, ma'am. I'm in the middle of something. My Le Creuset like sunset pan or pot, sorry, that I use all the time. Also this Our Place pan, which I also use all the time. This is my main like, you know, sauteing cooking pan and it came with this little steamer basket which I also use quite often. This is the area where I store my Vitamix which is so legit. Murad actually gave that to me. I use it every single day. It blows every single blender out of the water. Y'all know I love my Instant Pot, my little egg cooker. So I guess those are my mostly used gadgets. This is just Josie's stuff, and then I have more stuff up here. If you are wondering, I think a lot of people ask me about this. These are from, oh shoot, CB2, I think? Yes. We have this little station here, which is my microwave uh, toaster oven, which I use all the time. I have all my liquor down there, and then Josie's little bowls. Oh, by the way, stools from West Elm as well. Um, if you have hardwood, I would not recommend, maybe you need to get some little things for the bottoms, but it definitely has scratched up the floors. But if you see these floors, they're original from when this building used to be just a warehouse. So it's pretty scratched up, messed up looking anyway, so it doesn't matter for me. Moving on from the bar microwave area, uh, we have this, this is my full length mirror from West Elm. Hello. It's actually, I love it. It's super heavy and it has like, it's like a brassy kind of color. And because it's leaned onto the wall, it makes you look taller. Over here now, we've moved over to the living area. This table, West Elm. It's cool because it's multifunctional. We got a nice surface over here and then also, we have light. Why is that flickering? Okay, that's creepy. I'm gonna turn that off now. It's literally never done that. Okay, 
Um, these prints I got, oh shoot, I'm so sorry. I forget the, I, I can't remember the artist's name and I can't read their um, signature, but I got these from Urban Outfitters and I also bought these like wooden, I'm not sure what exactly you would call this, but you pretty much stick it underneath and you stick it up top and then you can hang up like large posters. My green couch, green velvet couch is from Rove Concepts. Um, got it before I got Josie. I, I will say, usually this couch is completely covered with blankets. Um, and I have a green blanket from Target that matches this color perfectly. Um, but it is really easy to clean. I forget exactly what they call it, but the velvet is super, super easy to clean, really easy to get hair out of. So it's not that big of a deal if there's hair on there. This marble table also from Rove Concepts. I do a ton of my like product shots. If you see any of the B-roll of products, any favorites or anything, I'm literally filming it on this marble right here because it's just such a beautiful background. So love that. Um, over here we have my little plant station. In my building, if people have nice stuff that they just want to give away, there's a little area near the dumpsters where you can just like leave stuff. And this was there, but it was like super dirty, just disgusting, rusty. And I just like worked for hours and hours and cleaned it up. Oh my goodness. Did you watch my vlog? Look at this. This avocado seed is really growing, thriving. I think I need to transfer it to a larger container because every day that I look at it, the root is so much longer. And this is also, this one right here is one of my favorites. Look how many little babies are on it. Y'all might never have seen my uh, PC setup. <laughs> Segundo built this for me over quarantine and I'm supposed to game with him and also he wants, I mean, not he wants to, I want to stream on Twitch. It's just something that's so new. I just haven't, you know, I just haven't had a chance to dive into it, but I will very soon, promise. So that's that down there and don't judge my wire organization, okay? This mirror thing, it's a stand for your phone to record, but also there's like lights up here. These are two different lights. And then for some reason, a mirror, I mean, I don't, use the mirror um, but it's great if you need to film yourself maybe you need some lighting for a zoom meeting or something i use it like i paint my nails here and this light is perfect for when i paint my nails at night um you know random papers over here the desk is from rove concepts and this desk is hefty it is so heavy i know i have so much crap under there and i'm i'm sorry about that um kind of moving some things around right now but yeah, this desk is, oh wait. <laughs> Are you ready for this drawer? <laughs> I totally forgot what I put in this drawer. And I just remembered like the second I went to reach for it. Oh wait. It's just weed. There's so much, there's, there's, it, that, that's just the top. There, but there's just a bunch of weed in there. <laughs> okay, put it, close it, close it. Um, <laughs> this desk is just really beautiful. I didn't realize how deep it was gonna be. It's huge. But yeah, if you're looking for a desk that has like a lot of surface area, this is the one for you. This chair is a very sad chair. It's from Amazon. It is so uncomfortable, would not recommend. I just need a, I, I need to get a proper desk chair because it's not okay to be sitting on this thing. So that's that. <laughs> um, moving over here, look, I have just a bunch of, I just have PR packages piled up on there, my file cabinet. This piece of furniture is from Urban Outfitters. And um, it just has, you know, a little area for all your records to rest. And then on the other, oh, I don't know what's on. Other side, I just have, oh, nothing too crazy. I have uh, some Instax stuff and apparently a thing to roll, roll some joints over there. If we just look right here, uh, these are some of my extra little chairs. This is from Rove Concepts. What a cool, it's honestly 
so comfortable. You can customize the upholstery. <laughs> um, and then this little table, Row of Concepts, the vase I got um, in Lyon, actually. This is one of my favorite chairs of all time that I've ever had. And this is a vintage chair that I got on uh, Craigslist. And the guy that I bought it from, he had reupholstered it with this Pendleton fabric. All right, so coming in from here, as you can see, it's the back of my TV. Not a beautiful looking setup in any way, but that's how I divided the rooms. I had big plans, you know, to create this structure where I could put the TV on a swivel. So you can see it on both sides. It would have been so expensive, so it just didn't happen. So if we kind of pass over here, here is my bedroom area and my vanity area. It's around 5 p.m. right now. The sun is right there. So it just sets right there. So I have all this lovely light that floods in. This bed is from da -da -da -da, West Elm with the matching little table. I think this table is great. This setup is great because these are actually drawers under here. I got this bed when I was living in my really small place in downtown and I just needed more storage. So you can store stuff under there. And the reason why the um, nightstands are kind of shaped like that is so you could pull the drawer out and not have it interfere, obviously. So this is a queen size. The lamps are also from West Elm. Comforter or the, the quilt on top is from Pendleton. I've wanted a Pendleton quilt for so long and I got it this year. And it's great because I just wanted to get it with Josie. I wash her paws like no joke three times a day because we take her out three times a day, but still. I just didn't want her, her paws to be all over the actual comforter. Over here, we have kind of like a little jewelry area. Why, it looks so dusty. Okay, hopefully you can't see that. So this big mirror is from West Elm. Um, this vase is actually from my aunt who passed. And I just have some of my jewelry kind of displayed. This cabinet, I want to say Wayfair. I really wanted a Chinese looking cabinet. I have a bunch of my extra makeup in there. That's where I store it all. It's not the best, you know, quality of an item, but I still think it's really pretty and I love it. I love Chinese looking anything. So that's my little corner over here. Um, my friend Veronica painted that for me in high school. I still have it. I just have some stuff piled right there. But here we have my vanity. So you might have already seen, that's all my hair stuff. This desk is also from my aunt. Oh, I think one of the little things is inside the drawer. I need to, I need to fix this because it's actually quite loose and they, they always fall off. So um, yeah, I inherited this, this desk from my aunt. Um, it's just a gorgeous little desk that I use as my vanity now. That's a little stool that it came with. Um, so I actually put one of those rubber mats on there. So when I'm curling my hair, um, I kind of like put it down onto the mat, never touches the wood. Um, so that's like a little stand there I have for it. This chair is from uh, Pottery Barn Teen. I never lived in a dorm, but these dorm rooms that they supposedly like, you know, that they create, that they style, it's, it's like the most beautiful dorm room I've ever seen in my life. So if you're looking for a good one, like I actually really like this. And typically I will exchange, when I'm sitting at my desk, I will just grab this chair and put it over at my desk and sit at it. A lot more comfortable than that Amazon chair, let me tell you. But I still obviously definitely need a, uh, a real desk chair over there. Um, okay, so this is where I do my makeup every single day vanity planet mirror up in here look at that adjustable i have i don't know if i want to do a really thorough vanity tour over here but brushes lip products like eyebrow uh, mascaras and stuff like that and then foundations and miscellaneous brushes like current face stuff that I am using over here. I have my little iPad. Sometimes I watch stuff while I'm 
you know, putting stuff on my face. And then this is just a hodgepodge of powders, palettes, pencils. And then I have all the different sparkly stuff I use is down here, especially, you know, like these little hourglass guys. If we turn from here, this is the view from my bed. There's a big old TV. These Chinese lanterns that are so cheap that I put up for a Chinese New Year party I had like years ago and I never took them down because I love them. This is uh, also from West Elm. It's really old though, so I don't believe that they have it there anymore and it's also super crooked. Like, look at this. I was, I was honestly pissed about that and I kind of didn't notice it. It was all delivered and everything, so I got it on super sale. Yeah, by the way, never buy West Elm full price, ever. Wait for Labor Day, any kind of holiday. I don't, I don't know when I've ever bought anything from West Elm full price, okay? So don't do it. There's so many sales, but anyways, okay, so we got that. This Bose soundbar, honestly, awesome. It has really improved our movie watching time. Never had a soundbar like that before, so really, really love that. Here is Josie's Carhartt bed that she didn't sleep in for a long time, and now she does. If you watch uh, my quarantine vlog, ooh, I'll put it in a card. It smelled like fish when we first got it. Does not smell like fish anymore. This rug is from Morocco. It's just a gorgeous rug, I love it so much. So, can't link that one out. And this bench is from West Elm and they definitely still have that at the store. I'm glad I remembered to uh, film this because I totally forgot to show you this before. But these are the windows that are above the kitchen. So my ceilings are super high and I've kind of lived in loft spaces like this now for so many years of my life that not living with insanely high ceilings, uh, I don't know, would be getting, I don't know, it, it would take me some getting used to. But now that we've finished with this whole main area, it's time to move over to here. And now I'm gonna show you why, you know, I started in the main area first. Okay, everyone, you just saw the boxes and you know what that means, I'm moving. Uh, this is exactly what I did last time I did a house tour of my like downtown place. Uh, I love that place too, but um, we are moving to a house. I will definitely speak about this further. I think, you know, maybe I'll try and do, we'll see if I can do an empty house tour. Um, might have to do it after we just like put in all the boxes and stuff, but it all happened really fast. I honestly wasn't, I was casually looking just for fun, but then I saw this house and everything just clicked. And it was the pretty much the only house that we looked at. And so anyways, I'm moving next week and I have a lot to pack. This weekend, I am actually going to Palm Springs for my 30th birthday, which has been planned for months now. I think that our moving day is gonna be the 27th, which is my 30th birthday. So lots happening, but obviously I wanted to show y'all my place, this place, like before that happens. It's very bittersweet because I loved living here so much, but it's been very difficult now with Michael and Josie to not have any rooms. I just need, I want an office and it's just healthier also just for our relationship to have different separate spaces and also a yard for Josie. And for me, I didn't think I was ready for a house for like years. I was like, I'm not, I'm not moving to a house. Like I love living in this area so much, but it's time, so. Anyways, sorry, that's a really long break from the tour. We have a few more areas to go to, so let me show you. All right, so I apologize. It is definitely, uh, you know, not how it typically looks, but you can use your imagination. So let's back up here. Oh, by the way, 
this, I don't know, would you call this a chandelier? I guess it is anything hanging like this is from West Elm. I love it. I only recently installed it too. I had to have, you know, obviously an electrician came and did all this stuff and like, you know, made this happen. Very fancy. Uh, I love it, but uh, I think it's just staying over here. So, oh, not nah, I made this crooked. But anyways, this is an area that I installed these backdrops. Honestly, haven't used them in a very long time. Um, gosh, I think I have to like sell them or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I installed it into the brick. Would be cool if someone after me <laughs> just want, you know, would want it. Um, but over here we have a clothing rack that has like, I kind of have like my fancy stuff, you know, my like long, beautiful things, you know, like all my vintage stuff, a lot of it's here. And then my like Japanese jackets, just the stuff that I like really love to display, I guess, right here. And I have my handbags just chilling over here. They actually had baskets that were organized underneath here before, but I was kind of afraid right when I got Josie, obviously I didn't know how she was gonna like be inside of a house. So I, put away a bunch of them and then I started just hanging the ones I use all the time over here. But I don't own too many handbags. So that's why it's just like, that's all of them that I use. And then my, that's the one I use the most from Bape. But this thing, West Elm. Uh, this bench is, I actually got it at the same time as when I bought the vintage chair that was reupholstered off of Craigslist. So this huge box right here is actually a frame for a king size bed. I'm so excited, but we just decided not to open it up and do anything with it until, you know, we move. So that's why that huge box is there. Um, but usually none of this stuff is here and it's just like a bare wall. And then we have this bookcase over here, which is where I keep all my camera gear and my graphic novels. Shout out Brian K. Vaughn, writer of my favorite uh, graphic novels, Why the Last Man's Saga. This is just where I have my like random lenses and stuff. And then this thing right here is just like the bottom of a box. And I knew I wanted to put a power strip in this area cause I just wanted to be able to charge stuff within here. So I cut a hole out in the back that was big enough for the power strip to go through. And this is where I just charge multiple things and then I like wire, or I tied, zip tied the, the power strip uh, wires down to where it's plugged into the wall. Whoa, I almost, whew. oh my God, <laughs> I ran into that. Let's move this out. I packed away a bunch of my books that were on here and then also in the living room area. So this is kind of like what's left, uh, my nice fuck Trump thing that I got in Mexico. These baskets, very fun baskets for people who come over to my house because this is my shopping zone. I'm not sure if I've ever talked about this, but in terms of like PR packages, if there are items that I just like, obviously are not my color, I'm not gonna use all. I have one box that, or one basket that is like swatched or slightly used. I'll put it into one basket, but everything else never used. When friends come over, they can do a little shop over here and kind of periodically I will donate. So actually the reason why they're, they're kind of empty is because I um, donate to the women's shelter and any of the like swatched ones, I actually get to my mom because I'm honestly not really sure what she does with them, but she says to go ahead and give them to her. So that's what I do. But otherwise, yeah, that's all, that's, that's my little, shopping zone for my friends. If we turn around, okay, I can safely move this camera back over here. These are all jackets. It's literally a hundred degrees today. I, ha I still haven't gotten used to living in LA. I don't know why I have so many jackets. It's just, that's just the way it is. So pretty much jackets and then like cardigans and stuff. And then I have a bunch of robes. Here we have this Ikea Pax wardrobe. The sliding's great, it's like a soft shut. Everything's great about this. 
it's humongous, um, but I'm not gonna open it for you because it is really crazy inside of there. So I'm trying to go through all, all of my clothes too and figure out what to sell and donate before moving. If you haven't watched my packing tips video, I will also link that. That is uh, one of my most popular videos, I think. And I, I give some really good tips for packing in there. So if you wanna see it, I will put a card up. This zone is kind of like Michael's dump zone. He needs more of his own spaces, I think, because right now he just has like just these things that are here. So here's the entryway. This was the couch that I got from West Elm. Oh my gosh, like seven, no, six years ago. Rug is from Morocco. Oh, love this thing. This is from West Elm little shoe area. You know what? This this like entryway collection that they got going on is really nice. I was even considering when I got this, they have these like uh, closets that are, have like different configurations inside. And I was considering getting that for a minute, um, especially because we have all of Josie's leashes and stuff and it had like hooks, but I'm glad I didn't do it now because I'm not sure if I'm not sure where this is gonna go in, in the new house, but over here we obviously have our shoes and then we have a little area for our sunglasses. This is our like mask basket. Have my Black Lives Matter um, poster over here. And then my friend, John Dragonetti, he took this beautiful photo. He actually took this picture years ago when the Black Lives Matter movement was first created. So yeah, I really love that print. This light over here is from Target. It's great. I have my keys in there. Has like some nice little shelves, just a little, you know, aromatherapy moment. And then if we turn, oh gosh. So Michael was supposed to take the recycling out before he left, but he didn't. So that's why that's there. And then big old giant mirror from West Elm. That's all also stuff that I'm like donating and stuff, but um, these are the huge closets that Michael uses, or he kind of just uses like these center ones. In that one, I just have like a uh, suitcase, ladder, that kind of stuff, but they are so tall that I can't even reach the first one. So they're just really useless for me. So that's why Michael has these closets and I have these other extra ones. And if we go into the bathroom, oh, here is my bathroom. So, you know, just a nice little sink. We have my Totoro poster that I got framed. And I bought this off of Wayfair, I believe, just for more storage, because I needed a little cabinet for my skincare right next to the sink. This one potentially the most difficult thing that has ever been built. Um, I don't know why there's black in there, because this is the white zone of the laundry but um this is from ikea oh gosh Shh. that's my travel stuff <laughs> extra products this is a very nice drawer sometimes also okay so i put in like extra products that i use all the time in here and then every couple months i go through it if, if i'm not going to touch it again then i just put it into the the free zone so that's that. Clearly you can see that my main issue is storage. So that's why I have all these like weird little extra things. This bathtub and the shower are very nice. The shower, very good amount of water comes out and the tub is like super deep. Michael takes baths all the time. He takes more baths than me and he fits in there pretty nice. And then um, this is where I hang our towels. <gasps> oh, these I just bought, not just, like a few months ago because they were on sale. They're the, these towels, the onsen towels. They're like the Japanese style towel that is very lightweight. It absorbs moisture so fast. And then because it is so lightweight, it doesn't get like mildewy hanging here. Usually after I take a shower, I just hang it like straight across there. And then once it's more dry, stick it over here. But I bought 
three different colors. I need to get more. I want to replace all my towels with this because it dries so fast. It's just so much better than, than towels that kind of get gross. Oh, and by the way, Suguno calls this bathroom Pebble Beach. So whenever he, you know, come to take a poop over here, he says he's going to go to Pebble Beach. <laughs> he hasn't done that in a while. Am I reminiscing about Suguno pooping at my house? Yes, because he hasn't been here in months. Um, okay. <laughs> this is the view from the front door, I guess. And then as you can see up there, we have a really nice skylight and I installed these uh, lights in the hallway. So at nighttime, it's, it used to be very dark in here. Um, and as you walk through from the front, you get this. Man, I'm gonna miss this so much. Josie, you know, honestly, this is all for you. I freaking, I, I got a house for you. So you could have a yard and play outside whenever you want. <laughs> She's squinting because it's so sunny. Yeah, I got it all for you. All right, everyone. That was my house tour. I know I was like, I think I was really thorough. So if this video is way too long and I just went into way too, like you probably were like, bitch, just like keep going, geez. Um, but I don't know, I just want to talk about every single thing because obviously all this furniture is coming with me, but it's nice for me to have a record of this place too because I loved living here more than any place I've ever lived. I don't know. So many things happened here, good and bad. It was just like, you know, all of my mid to late 20s we're here. You know, Michael came into my life. We're moving to a house. We have a dog. It's just so much has changed. And I, you know, was in relationships and dating while living here. But this place was such a pinnacle of my like independence and just like me being myself. There's something to be said about how this is a place that I like really grew into myself. So I'm realizing that and also I know that it's a good change, but it is sad at the same time. So anyways, I don't know. I'm just rambling, but hopefully um, I can film an empty house tour. Y'all have seen me move from San Francisco to LA, different places in LA, like it's wild. I don't know why I'm getting emotional right now. All of you out there are the reason why I, I've had so much happiness in my life. So I want to thank you. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.